election of Bola Tinobu as the 16th democratically elected president of Nigeria, where cheers and celebration filled the air. Chapter opens in Nigeria's history. Former Lagos State Governor Bola Tinobu takes oath of office as Nigeria's fifth president in a row since 1999. <laughs> Elsewhere all around the city center and its environs, security personnel take charge, carefully scrutinizing vehicles to forestall any likely breakdown of law and order. It is the ever-busy AYA. The streets are virtually empty as commuters, motorists and other artisans eke out their daily living. Button comes with so much hope. It is the seventh consecutive time power is changing from one civilian government to another in Nigeria. What this indicates is that Nigerians have come to accept democracy as the best option of governance. While they congratulate the country for its seamless transition, citizens now set an agenda for the new government. Security is the biggest challenge of this country. I don't know where it's coming from or I don't know where the problem is. But how I wish the person like uh, President uh, uh, Tinubu to face uh, security squarely. Group people believe that this administration is going to bring more benefits economically, uh, uh, agriculturally and every other area to the nation. We need peace in Nigeria. We don't need anything Boko Haram. And we need enough food, enough work. To do better thing for people. Now they turn where we want. Because of we don't so far. Now so everybody the talk. Everybody so far. Many people die. The nation's challenges rest on the shoulders of the new administration. Don't pity me. Rather pray for me. I applied for the job. I got the job. No excuses. I must deliver. Our President Bola Tinubu's famous words of commitment to serve. The last eight years have no doubt been very challenging for many Nigerians, but Monday's inauguration of the Bola Tinubu administration eras a new hope which will become visible in months and years ahead. Joke Adisa, TBC News.